The direct chemical injection pump is a very simple electric motor connected to a pumping element. The pumping element consists of some uh, plunger seals and some main O-rings to seal the chemical when the pump is working. To disassemble the pump and replace the seals, it's very easy. You first basically take off the head on each side of the pumping element. Once the head, head is removed, you can access the O-ring seals easily, which is just a Viton O-ring and also a fibre washer. Remove the next head on the opposite side. And again, it has the fibre washer and the O-ring. To remove the main pumping element, the right size Allen key. and remove the pumping element. The, there is a cam connected to the motor which turns, which moves the plunger backwards and forwards on a ball bearing to create the pumping. The pumping element is made up of a main plunger, which I say is connected to the ball bearing on the cam to move it backwards and forwards, and it has some gland housings either end. Also in the pumping element housing is the shuttle valve which activates the flow switch by the magnets on either end passing past the flow switch. So the <clears throat> also in the heads we have check valves which allow the plunger to generate pressure and chemical flow. These check valves are just steel seats activated by springs internally and can be cleaned and the O-rings can be replaced. We have an intake and an exhaust check valve on each end. So the main components that we'll need replacing seasonally will be the O-rings which are Viton, the fibre washers and possibly the piston glands. Also the O-rings that seal the heads on each side of the pumping element. 